welcome to another thrilling episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you bring your favorite celebrities to speak honestly and answer all your bugging questions. Today's guest is a um, creative director. She is an actress who has acted in several series like Yolo, Sewa, Madame, Sebsu, and many others. She's also a travel explorer that has been to some places that she'll be speaking about soon. We back again. Hi. Uh, hello. I just came to say hello. Really? Hello. I saw what you did for the witches back there and I must say there's more to you than meets the eye. Well, that's nothing but thank you. Maybe mm, you can have my number now. <laughs> Call me, but no unnecessary disturbance. Oh, I got you. Don't worry about that. You thought about what I told you last night. You only just met. There's no need to rush things, okay? So, does that mean you don't like me? I never said that. I think you're cool. But if I'm going to be in any relationship, it's going to be an asexual one. What does that mean? Asexual? It means we can date, but we're not going to have sex. Okay. Mix yours. Yeah. So are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Or you're angry? No, oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> are you sure you're not saying anything? It's your thing, yeah. It's hard though. Oh, so it means we can't date? No, I did not say that. So what are you saying? You know what? Let's talk about something else, okay? Okay. I have somewhere to go, okay? Wow. I'll call you. Are you sure? Welcome, Daddy. Mm, thank you. How was your day? It went great. Mm, tell me about it. You know I went to the library and then me and the girls we went to get some ice cream because we are finally done with our project. Ah, very nice. <laughs> My friend said she saw you. Yes. She is not trying to take your mother's place in your life. Well then she shouldn't. Look, whatever she said to you, she was only trying to look out for you. Dad, I appreciate it. But I didn't ask her to. Karen! Dad, you've never questioned my friendships. Yeah, it's because I trust you. Then why are you trying to side with your girlfriend? Good afternoon. Hi, Akushika. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I just received your message. Thank you very much. Oh, Akushika, you're welcome. Um, please, can I start now? You want to start now? No, but the message I sent you, you can start tomorrow. I know, I know, but um, I'm not really doing anything at home, so I might as well just, you know. <laughs> Akushika. Okay, fine, if you insist. Okay. So, uh, well, the place is empty, but once you're here, I just want to make you aware of a few things, okay? I don't want to call them rules, but you understand. So most of the customers that come here are male, and some of the boys come to sit here and chat. I want you to be really careful about them. And secondly, you're a nice girl. And because of that, some of them would by all means make some advances at you. Please, if you're not interested, just politely tell them that you're not. And everything should be fine. Okay, boss. Okay. okay boss. All right. Down. Yes, baby. The name is Akushika. You finish? Yes, please. Twenty CDs, 
Sure. Relax, make I check my body out first. Wow, beauty, you really did make her look extra nice. Thank you. See, I want to show appreciation, you know. What time do you close? I want to come and take you out. That's not necessary. Girl, we cannot do so. I just need your number so we can talk later. Please, the money. You know, I'll be your customer. We, as your customer, if you make her feel maximum satisfaction, you know. The money. Sure, girl. I just need your number. I cannot give you my number. Hey, wait, 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 please. Kusika of Yolo fame is here to speak honestly. Welcome, girl. Hey, guys. I said you're looking dapper. Your shoes are given. <laughs> your jacket is given. Your necklace is given. Your nose ring is given. <laughs> Everything is given. Oh, my God. And I try. Pretty. I She's try. She's a natural beauty. I try. I try. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much How for having me. How are you doing? Me. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah? yeah. How's today looking for you? What does today look like? Well, it feels relaxed. Yeah. The weather is chill. The air yeah. is blowing. The breeze is beautiful. So, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Are you excited it. for this? Of course, I am excited <laughs> for this. Are you willing to speak honestly? <laughs> is that an if or that's a yes? I'll that's try. A, Fingers okay. crossed. <laughs> okay. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself, girl. You know, where are you from? What school mm. did you go to? Who are you? Okay, guys. So, my name is Olasi, but my full name is Olasi Funai Manuela. I am Nigerian okay. and um, I went to school at Laboni Senior High. Just here, just around, just around here. Those I people live that don't know Laboni. that. <laughs> well, uh -oh. I did my high school. Ghanaian gems don't harm. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I did my high school in Laboni and I finished my um, university in Gempa Law School. Okay. Yes. So, and I started acting after okay. I was done with Gempa. So how um are you, uh, how did you get into Ghana? Like, how did you get to Ghana? Did your parents moved or? Well, yeah, my dad uh, relocated here in two thousand and eight. Okay. So he okay. was into you know real estate and roofing. Ah. So obviously he was here before me. Yeah. And then when he established a business yeah. a bit, I was going back and forth until yeah. I finally started yeah. school. So was here. it like a hard move for you? Were you very excited to come to Ghana? To be honest, it was that like weird experience you know my dad was like we are going to abuja and the next thing we're in ghana yeah, and it was just like so that he lied to you he lied to us like oh, i no. didn't know we were in ghana oh, no. and the funny thing was we were using the uh, like we drove to ghana so we didn't feel we didn't use a flight yeah. or anything so it was very like okay ghana can't be that short yeah oh, but then no, it was daddy. that short you know so oh, it, was, no. it was interesting but was have interesting. you settled in properly are you happy or do you do you think you would ever move back to nigeria i feel like i go between back and forth between nigeria and ghana for the acting purposes so yeah. i feel like ghana is home nigeria is home i've stayed here more i can speak tree so i don't know yeah, i'm ghana say something in tree it's the same oh yep now i'm not my tree better than you yeah 100 percent 100 percent um so, uh, are you Christian, first of all? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm a practicing Christian. Are you, are you religious? Should have been the question. Are you religious? Well, to be honest, I feel like religion for me is based on God and my, like, what I believe in what he says. Yeah, are there certain things that I'm practicing in Christianity? Obviously not. Are there certain things that I believe in Christianity? Obviously. So, yeah. I think it's just what works for me. And my relationship yeah, I, yeah and my relationship with god yeah so. i respect that yeah. i respect that so how did you get into acting was it something you've always been passionate about to be honest i didn't even know i was going to be an actress i feel like i've always set my mind to be a lawyer and then 
something strange happens and I do this like advert. And all of a sudden I'm like, I like doing this yeah. advert. So fast forward, I was done with um, law school and I was like, you know what, let me try again and see if I can go it's into this thing. That so I just off. walk into a production house. I was like, please, I want to audition. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. So they put me on the camera and then I was auditioning and then one of the guys was just like, this girl, please. I need you to come on set. I was like, what, what production house was it? Farmhouse. It was farmhouse, oh, wow, actually. That's so bold. That, <laughs> that was is so bold. bold. Yeah, that was that was bold. So I think it was for to have and to hold. Oh. The first seasons of yeah. to have and to hold. So I come there as an extra, and like they were doing this humongous church scene where Lydia Foss is supposed to beat up Quakeliot, and I was like, you know, the bridesmaid <laughs> there. So it was so interesting. I was like, wow, I really loved it. Everybody was so welcoming. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shoko and the rest. So I was just really oh, loving the to, scene. Oh, you got to add the, the yeah, big leaders. the big yeah. people. Like, wow. you know, so it was really nice to see the vibe and really... Was it a good experience? It was a good experience. And she beat that guy good. She beat him good. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's nice. And so that's how you branched into YOLO and all the other series yeah, that's how I, yeah. that you did. Exactly. You spoke a little bit about your family in, um, earlier. You were saying how your dad drove you. Yeah. Do you have siblings? Well, I do have siblings from my paternal side. But from my maternal side, it's just me. Right. Right. And um, is it too much to ask? Are your parents together or no? No. Oh, okay. Okay. So you live in Ghana with your dad. Well, I both your mom and your dad have moved to Ghana. Well, no. So my dad is here, but my mom is in Canada. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I is big. <laughs> okay. So I get it. I get it. And um, are they very supportive of the career that you've you've chosen? I mean, hmm. aside your law, hmm. the acting. <laughs> Tell me, what do they to say? Be honest, <laughs> I mean, my mom is supportive, my dad not so much. You know how, I can understand. you know, the African <laughs> traditional fathers, they always want to... I can to understand. It's not just African though. My dad is also um, not really... So, like, he's, he's mm. not like he's not supportive. He's not... Uh, he's not extremely happy about it. But my dad is white. So, I think it's just a dad thing. I don't think... I feel like... You know, maybe, but... You it's know, the, the African yeah. native men that, you know, they want you to... Yeah. Uh, the job, the nine to five job is what is supposed to offer you. You know, they think about your future and they think 100%. about a lot of things. And they're like, is this thing going to cater for my daughter? Yeah. Is this thing going to really give her it's the life? It's from a place of concern. Yeah, from a place of concern because, you know, times are hard these yeah. days. So, and yeah. I think they are also very mature and they really understand how, um, you know, being in this industry could lead lead you a so sway. Many. And so I guess they are just worried, yeah. which is fine. Like, we respect you, Daddy and Mommy. Yeah, that respect is cool. you. <laughs> Okay, um, is there anything else that I don't know about you? Are you in love with somebody? Are you seeing anybody? <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is this question like, oh, come on. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hmm. I don't know how to describe my situation. To be hey, honest. it's a situation. It's a situation. But you're talking to somebody. I believe I am. But you guys are not um, in a committed relationship. I, you think, guys I think for me, I really like to not label things. I like to really want to know how things are before I really invest. Yeah. So yes, we've having we're having conversations. We're talking. We're good. We're fine. What's going but for on me, with this I'm thinking like, okay, can this thing lead to something more? So right. that's why I'm more something more like what? Obviously, I'm marriage. Yeah, marriage. You right. know, settling down. I'm the trad girl. I love right. the trad wife vibe. Right. So you know fine i think i think i think you've told me enough about yourself for I now let's move on to the segment where the fans are grilling you guys <laughs> when we get back from the break ulasi answers your grilling trilling filling selling questions <laughs> Back, I could see guys ready to answer your grilling questions. Girl, you ready? Okay, <sighs> I'll try. Okay, so Golda from Aquitaman wants to know mm. how the feeling was on um, your first day on the yellow set. Oh my god, it was 
exciting. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted to be on that set. I've always wanted to be on that set. Ivan knows this. The whole production <laughs> knows this. Like, I mean, they started the first uh, season in my school. I was there when they were La shooting Bonnie, it. Yeah. I was in my final year when they were shooting it. So I ah. saw everything, you know. So it was like nostalgic for me to see that. Years later, I'm in the same production. It was I have very, very bumps. nice. You know, I have goosebumps <laughs> yeah. because that was the first thing that made me know that I may actually like this part. I no, mentioned this is my adverts, you're actually right? Actually, good at yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Um, Eric um, wants you to tell us about your BSIFF award. Oh wow! I'm so glad you asked about that. Um, so I think last year. Um, we did a feature film called Chioma, which um, was talking about, it was this horror African story where it's depicting a young girl yeah. who has like a sexual and um, spiritual sexual connection with her uncle Ooh. who doesn't want her to get married to anybody else. Ooh. So it was that, you know, thing where everybody around her that she's in love with is dying, is dying, is dying. Girl. <laughs> so she has to go through this trauma at a young age. And she was a young girl, 16 years old, you know, going through all these phases of death and death and death, even to a point where her mother is dead. You know, so there's this whole battle of feeling like, what is it with her? So there's a lot of emotion. So me actually winning the youngest like young best young That's actress something. it was yeah i was surprised to be yeah. honest that was my first feature um, yeah. film yeah i, I didn't th even know i, I, I think that it. should confirm to you that this is actually something you're good at you know yeah, you know for, yeah. it's something that you should probably take yeah. very seriously yeah, because so. it's your talent that you've been blessed with you know milk it <laughs> thank yeah. you. Congratulations, though. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Much, um, Stephanie oh. from Asamain Kese says, yeah. Have you ever had that moment where you feel like going off the socials? Like just deleting everything, <sighs> going off and bye, world? Oh, all the time, girl, all the time. Like, Why? I just feel like sometimes social media can be draining, you know. There are times where people want certain things from you, people want certain appearances from you, but who you are on camera and who you are in real life is quite different i love to enjoy those moments alone and enjoy my happiness alone before i can finally bring it out to the world but you know social media these days is like a six o'clock job people yeah. are posting at 6 p.m and i can't deal with yeah. all that pressure you know yeah. so sometimes i just lay back yeah. and i can't really but what has stopped you from not you know going off socials is it just the I happy like, moments. <laughs> I feel like at the end of the day, I still want to give people a sense of what I do, regardless of, you know, not always posting all the time with the authentic things that I actually do yeah. and the authentic, authentic times I spend with myself. Right. I do want to share that, not just like, you know, going somewhere to take a picture yeah. for them, you know. If I'm actually having fun and I do take pictures, you're going to see that. But not because I have to do that for the people. You Got it. I mean? yeah. Got it. Got it. Well spoken. Thank you. Uh, Mike wants to know what your go-to method for getting into character is. I think that for me, yeah, I try to re I, I do this thing where I say to myself, Iman um, Ulasi, you know what? For you, Ulasi, right now, you can be who you are, but in character, you can be anything. Yeah. And I think when I do that, it just really clicks in my head. You can play dead on the street. You can be as dramatic as you want. You can shout. You can do this. That's where you can really do anything without being ashamed. Right. And I think that's what everybody wants to some point, where you can just be yourself without being ashamed. And acting for me is that I can play different roles where I don't even know if I yeah. can do this, but yeah. you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, you know? it gives you the power. And if I can let yeah. out. Yeah, to just Be like... who you are without all these things that people yeah. expect you to be. Yeah. I, 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 I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> I relate to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next question. Stephanie um, still, Stephanie wants to know what uh, would have been your response if your boss <coughs> in YOLO proposed Sorry. to you. My boss in YOLO? Who's yeah, that? Well, your boss in YOLO, like the, the barbering shop, I think. A if, if he proposed to you, what, hey. what, would, what would your response have Choy. been? <laughs> so the funny thing is, that I don't want to say this, but... I went there with my crush. Stop it. <laughs> Yolo season one, I remember. Yeah. I was in, I was in Laboni, so yeah. I got to see a lot of things. I got to see <laughs> he was my crush. So, you know, it was so 
ironic when I got casted to be in the barbershop. I was like, hmm, okay, okay, let's see how we can do this. Let's try to so find a way. So you said was, how did that change? You're, you're, he's, not your, he's not your crush anymore. I feel like now, you know, working with him up close, I get, I get the appeal. I get why people like his character and I really want to see the dynamic of the character I'm being played with him. Right. I don't know what will happen, but fingers crossed. Yeah, though. fingers crossed, yeah. So what would, have, what would you have said if he proposed to you? Would you have said yes, no? <laughs> Well, of course, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's your answer, Stephanie. Okay. Um, Stephanie again wants to know um, if you've ever turned down a movie role and why. So many times. Why? I feel like for me, um, with my craft and what I want to put out there, I really need like people to understand like the depth in which I can go. Sometimes with productions, they're very, very quick on what they want and how they want it to be done. So let's say you can go for audition, you don't hear from them for over a couple of times. They yeah. they're already bringing scripts, casting this. Yeah. For me, I don't work like that. Yeah. I love to really understand like yeah. characterization, know her moods, her yeah. mannerism. Is she a tomboy? Is she not? Yeah. So I need that in depth. So sometimes when I'm not given that, I don't want to venture yeah. into a place where I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. why I turn down roles. Yeah. But. I've I've had to turn down. A movie role because I felt insulted by their offer. No, like no, I don't, I'm not trying to degrade mm. anyone, yeah, yeah, but definitely. these people offered a movie role and they, their budget was just to provide food and transportation. So yeah. do you that's, understand? There's yes, there's, there's also that. I think for me, when I was talking about this, I was talking about for my creative yeah. creative, but in regards to like how they, yeah, there's always that. Like, and I think people, offer yeah, you don't be shy to turn those down, please. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, it's so ridiculous because, like, apart from transportation my and food, do you art, think that like, I'm not fed at home or something? I want to think, like, do you think I'm not fed at home? You're bringing a literal you know? character to life. Come on, please. And you're telling me please that you can only turn feed them me down. and send me home. Turn them down. Thank you very you're much. You're gone, you're gone. I'm triggered. <laughs> Uh, next question. Um, Stephanie wants to know if you've ever had a crush on your boss in your life. I think she said that. You, you did say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But did you have a crush? Okay. Did your character ever had a, um, have a crush on him? Or well, in, in, this, in the series, I don't think so. I think for her, she was that girl that, you know, she wanted to provide for her family. She's a sole breadwinner of her family. So at the time, she's not thinking about romantic involvement. She's thinking about how she can be able to, you know, work and get yeah. money in a male dominated space yeah. because you know if you watch the people were not really accepting the fact that she's a female barber i mean what can she do so for me it's that point How where i have she? to you know prove myself and prove my you know masculinity in that space i'm feminine but you know you can't mess with me yeah so there's no I mean? time for crushes yeah, so i think stuff. it was that there was she wants to be familiar with them but she doesn't want to you know cross certain boundaries got it yeah, got it exactly fair enough true. Okay, so Bunny um, wants you to mention your top three young actors in Ghana. Well, I'm going to choose my YOLO people, obviously. Okay. I'm going to start with George. I loved George. I loved this character in season one. He nailed it to the T. Okay. I love um, this recent girl, um, Asedua. Okay. The Scoopy. Like, I really love her subtle movements and switches from her. Her, her emotions is very subtle but okay. very very nice and natural okay. and yeah i think so far <laughs> what about yourself girl i feel like i'm the most like i'm such a hard critic on myself you know what i mean like even when i'm watching myself on, t on tv i'm like ah, is that how i'm supposed to be yeah what expression is but, that but to be honest you know? yeah i i'm like that too and i feel like that's not really a good character or a good trait to have because like Yes, it's good to watch what you do and learn from your mistakes, mm. but what you tell yourself is also what you're manifesting, what your brain yeah. is going to believe. So. But you have that thing where, like, you know, you go and then it's like, okay, after you're done shooting, you're like, did I really interpret this thing well? Did yes, really it's self-doubts. Well? Self That's it. Ooh. I do that too. And someone yeah. has told me, you know, it's not really a good thing to do, mm. so let's try and work on it. And it's not even perfect. Like, I still do it, but I'm trying to work on it. So yeah. this is just my friendly advice to you to just Thank try you, you know push yourself promote yourself like it's you girl <laughs> yeah Thank you. next question um michael i thought it was michelle but <laughs> michael um wants to know one role you haven't had the chance to play yet but you are really looking forward to 
I feel like everybody is putting me in a safe zone. Like, I really want to get into, like, that Nigerian razness. You right. Know, show them the streets. Like, right. show them that kind of side of me that, you know, people don't get to see. I feel like I always look so glammed and polished. Yeah. That could be so raz. Yeah. And I really want to see that side of me. Can I pull it out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Fair, yeah. Um, Elijah from Bekum wants to know if you're working or you're still a student. I'm working, actually. Oh, where do you work, girl? So, I work for One Life Entertainment. Hey, um, I've heard of them. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> One Life Entertainment, I'm actually the, um, I'm the logistics and creative art director for that side. So, One what Life we do is that... We have artists that we are You work managing. with Charles? Yes. I yo. know that you guys have a show coming yeah, up soon. This, yes, this, On uh, Thursday? Yeah, that's oh my, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are going to Cape Coast. So yes, I'm going to be there. I was, but I don't know, girl. Come on, go pull up. I don't know. Like, I think about it. You I need think, to pull up. I, you need to pull I, up. I think about it. So, you know, majority of the music videos that they do, I come up with the mood board for the art and yeah. you know, how... The, the models are going to look, the visual representation. Right. Oh, know I know your people, girl. Yeah, you know my people. <laughs> I do. I, I love that. Okay. That's nice to yeah, know. Thanks. Um, Hamon from Dansoman wants to know who uh, was your crush on the YOLO sets and if you, or if you ever date anyone in YOLO, who would it be? Uh. I don't think I ever date anyone in Anyone at all? No, I Even a like bad boys? Who is Flex, the bad boy? I mean, in 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 the YOLO uh, uh, era, is it a, a space or whatever? Yeah. They're students. I'm not a student. Okay. I'm, I'm working. Okay. So. But like, okay, so, I mean, outside of YOLO, they ask, you pick the character and like, okay, outside of the movie says this is someone that I could maybe date. If you say this, is this someone that I feel like is fine? Okay, let's let's but try and day. twist his question. <laughs> let's try and twist his question a little bit. Mm. Is there anyone that you feel like is fine, or someone that is sparking a little bit of your interest, like a little tiny weeny bit? Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Yee. I don't know because you know when we are shooting, we are usually shooting on schedules. You don't get to see everybody. Everyone. But you've seen the show. I haven't you seen any character <laughs> that may. No? Well, maybe it's Emily's ex that just came, Melvin Dane. I don't uh, know that you know okay. him. But, I mean, he looked very manly, like, okay. you know, coming to Emily All and right. trying to. I'm like, hey, okay. who's this guy? Got it. Got it. Fair Shout enough. out to Melvin. That's your answer, Hammond. <laughs> and Salim from Newtown wants to know if you've, if you've got the barbering skills in real life. Is it something that, you know... To be honest, my mom had a barbering and a salon shop. Right. So when I was in... Okay. Primary, I know how to braid hair, I know okay. how to cut hair. Did we do that? Hmm. But I do know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> very, very So do you very think well. do you think that you could um cut your child's like, you know, hair when you have of a course. son, you would? I, I told you I'm such a child wife. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing their cereals from scratch. Yeah. Total Nara Smith over there. Okay, got it. <laughs> got it. Um Mr. K inside Winnie wants to know if you date Kelly in real life if he proposes to you. Like, is it a thing? Hell no. Oh, why? Kelly, you did me, Yawa. <laughs> see, see, me and you one on one. You owe me. How can you do me that far? See, imagine, say, this girl be my girl. The boys go ask me, what's your babe they do? I go just say, she be Baba. Baba, Yawa, Papa. What's wrong with being a Baba? Charlie, woman, Baba, the only bar I know be Barbara. See, there's nothing wrong with a girl cutting hair. There's ah, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. I'll be hiding inside. You hide there inside. Surely she the force that boy the employer more. Be relax. You hide there inside. She the force that boy the employer more. You talk to the big sense. The only bab you know is Barbara. Really? Wahaler, wahaler, really? The only bab you know is Barbara. Wahaler, wahaler. We are sorry. Should I, guys, should I apologize? Please, mm. guys, please, everybody mm. should apologize in the comment section. Apologize for Kelly because, hey. because she's hurt. Hey. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's move on from this depressing question. Desmond again. Desmond has a lot of questions. Desmond wants to know if you weren't an actress, what career path would you have chosen? Ah. Uh, uh, well, I think I would still further into law. Law. Okay. Yeah, because I want to go into entertainment law, you know, oh, representing. Okay. 
people like yourselves yeah, when yeah. you guys are big you know you have your scandals oh my god guys i found my lawyer and i'm like you know <laughs> i'm representing your brands yeah. protecting your brands because i believe these days a lot of people don't have lawyers protecting their brand mm -hmm. they're still going to like um civil courts yeah. to protect brand and it's so unfair because someone can come online, tarnish your image, and it's just okay. You know, your there's stuff something going there. on online, like you know, something it, it, right it's, now. It's, yeah. it's quite triggering for me. Like, why, why is that people just feel like, okay, because you've had entanglement or whatnot with someone, it warrants you to just give yeah. out anything. I feel like our brands need to be protected. And yeah. for me, further into, like, as I grow older, I would want to, you know, focus more into yeah. that entertainment okay. law. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. That's a very good thing. Like cheers kudos i stand Thank you guys. <laughs> good good thing yeah um desmond again wants to know if you could star in a film that explores social or political issues what would you choose and oh why oh my god Ooh. i'm such a social and political person yeah. at some point because i always like raising up social issues yeah. i feel like i want to be that like i would want a role where i'm a severe activist you know fighting for like something where i'm being hunted down and having to run and hide and still fight so for like the um regardless. i don't know if you've seen the news but is this um child marriage thing like so is that something that you would be interested in like like, like you know percent okay. right i right. have sentimental attachments yeah. to those things yeah I, I think it's personal i don't really want to talk about right. it but fair enough i have seen and been through something almost similar yeah. so it's I triggering it's triggering it's traumatizing a lot, of people think that, girl, stop. a lot of people <laughs> think that as a child you know we as children we don't get to say anything we're supposed to say and our parents don't even give us an avenue yeah. to say a lot of things in africa we are ignored a lot of things of so when would you get the opportunity to speak up? i think now is the time this is the time you know so that's you know? what i really want to do i yeah, think it's, it's the time like for this. it's the time for for people to really speak, speak up. out and don't speak be afraid out. don't yeah. be afraid of victimization don't be scared of anybody there's laws in the country so far as you haven't gone to intentionally or like you know definitely there's a lot don't be scared fight for your rights if somebody's definitely. doing something bad to you report it definitely. say something own your truth girl or text me girl <laughs> well, what you do too? <laughs> and me i'll fight i'll give people blows i'll boot them i'll Bass yeah <laughs> anyways um the last question, <laughs> Colette. I don't know if I'm mentioning your name right. Please forgive me if I've butchered the name. Colette or Colette is asking if you have ever turned uh, turned down. Oh, this question there we've asked it already. Mm -hmm. He wants to know if you've ever turned down a movie role and why. Yeah, yeah I did answer that. Yeah, you did. I, I have I... turned down a movie yeah. role. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sure you get your answer in the beginning of the video. Anyways. This brings us to the end of this segment of Honestly Speaking. When we get back from the break, you're speaking rapidly, rapid fire, fast questions. Back, 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 I back, thought back, that back. was all. Oh, no. We are going on a break. When we come back, rapid fire is next. Oh, uh, okay, guys. <laughs>
Spitfire is next and Uasi is in the hot seat. Da, 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 da. You ready? Yeah. I keep okay, let's on. go. 10 solid questions. Heat. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Um, brush your teeth with ketchup or mayonnaise? Ew. Yeah. Ketchup. I'm, Ketchup, yeah, ketchup is sweet, no? Mayonnaise smells. Like, mayo has oh, just like I mean, a sour. No, uh, don't talk to me with mayonnaise. Yeah. Now, like, bro. Mm -mm. Or don't kiss me. Like, imagine. How will you kiss me? Uh, if you're to talk to me like, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, would you rather walk in on a friend making out or have them walk in on you making out? I mean, you can walk, me, walk on, on me making out. Yeah, I'd rather bro. walk in on yeah, them. Yeah. I have something to say. I have something to laugh about. I have something to tease you on, you know? Mm. If that, it's like the other way around. I'm the one, like, but yeah, 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 got it. Yeah. Um, would you rather have the ability to never feel um, physical pain or never feel emotional pain? I feel like I would want emotional pain. Right. Because I'm, I'm pain. such a Scorpio. We are so mental. Yeah. I feel like a lot of His mental. Scorpios are dangerous. So. Yeah, we are so mental. Like, yeah. we're so observant and mental. We taking every little social on social cues or on verbal cues that yeah. you don't even know so yeah. yeah yeah i don't want that this lady is a dangerous woman guys don't She's play a very with them dangerous Scorpio. woman <laughs> okay uh would you rather go a month without internet uh, go a month with internet or a month without bathing a month huh? So a month, a month without internet or a month without bathing? A Sorry, month the question. without internet, obviously. Month, really? Yes, I do that a lot. Hey, a month without bathing, yay! Hey. Ooh. But unless, like a unless, month without internet. Unless you're home all day, like, you yeah. Know? But then a month without no buffing at all? Yeah. No, that, that's good. Yeah, nah. I'll go with no month without internet. Yeah, this one is a solid one. Um, would you rather eat a small kind of dog food or six unripe bananas? Six on ripe bananas, please. Mm, Come on. But dog food. Okay, an unripe banana just probably won't be dog? sweet or so like. But dog food. Yeah. What hey, is but dog it depends food? on the dog food because in a have Ghanaian you, home, African dogs they give you banku and things. That's what I'm saying. A Ghanaian, <laughs> like in African homes, the dogs are eat basically what everyone eats. No, it's not like maybe. No, those mixture, mixture. Uh, it's not like yeah, they're, they're doing make, it. Like no. they're portioning it. You're right. You're right. And you're they'll right. give you some tilapia in you're the sauce. Right, you you're right. You're right. You're right. They're pouring all your leftovers into their pork. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, we're gonna do the unripe. Um, yeah, banana. Sure. Uh, next one, would you rather change the past or see into the future? I feel like see, change my past. You change the past. Future is always unpredictable. Yeah, so. one choice can change the, the yeah, outcome of the of future. future. So, so future is right. always unpredictable. Uh, would you rather have the power to eliminate all diseases or eliminate all poverty? Oh, such a, such a social and political question. Ah, eliminate disease or poverty. Yeah. Ah, I don't know how to answer that. That's such a difficult one for yeah. me. I can't choose. I yeah. don't know if I can. Yeah. They're both, both very, very, very crucial. Yeah. I wish there was no disease in the world. Yeah. And I wish there was no poverty. Yeah. But I feel like if you had money, then you could prevent poverty you could, no, no like oh. if like if you yeah if you had money you could buy medicine or health care you could afford you know, but like look at what happened in corona right what could we buy right so if there was no sickness then then truly and honestly everybody would be happy i think yeah, if there was no yeah. sickness poverty, you could, poverty can yeah. be managed yeah. like to some point right you can give somebody like a work yeah. to be able to do but like yeah. this is something that you can't predict you know what i mean like if it hits you it hits you when you're gone you're gone yeah. poverty can kill you to some point yeah you could manage but poverty can, is something yes, that you, can, you, could, you, adapt can, you to, could adapt yeah. to and manage right That's fair it. enough um would you give up would you rather give up acting for a year or give up your smartphone for two months my smartphone for two yeah months. i think yeah from conversation i've realized I'm that you would do that person. Yeah. i feel like a lot of people want me to be i would try to be for y'all but i'm not a <laughs> yeah fairs so uh would you rather make love with the lights off or with the lights on well <laughs> <laughs> well i would choose the lights off because you know there's some romance and sexual appeal to the yeah. lights off you know i don't want to see your face like i don't know but yeah. like I just need to like, you know, see the <laughs> silhouettes of you. Right. If you go, I mean, right. with the Fair. light candles and the room. Yeah, I'm a light up babe too. Just, just saying, guys. 
Uh, final one before you leave. Would you rather lose the ability to speak or lose the ability to hear? I need to hear. <laughs> I feel like a lot of things happen when you listen than yeah, to talk. Yeah. I like to hear than to talk. That's such a Scorpio thing. Yeah, such thing a Scorpio to say. thing. <laughs> I'm right. always listening to what right. people are saying. Right, right. Oh my God. Oh my God. I we have come to the end. <laughs> we have come to the end of Rapid Fire. Come to the end of this episode uh, of Honestly Speaking. Before I let you go, is there anything that you're working on or anything that you really want to share out there to the people that are watching you, your fans, and the new fans that you've made? <laughs> after really, this episode is, is it with regards to like the film or anything just in general? In, in general like are you working on anything that people should look out for well i have some projects i'm working on but yeah. personally i want to you know start the nigerian kitchen yeah. stuff where we can eat that like nigerian yeah. proper food yeah so you know i was just thinking of venturing into that and you know continuing more into my creative art directing and just seeing where that leads me so yeah those are the things as well as the many other projects I have to work with. So keep cross because I have something cooking for Okay, you guys. okay, okay. Proud of you. Wish you well in all of the things that you're doing. And hopefully I see you at the event. Sure. And then we get to have a good time. No, I'm bringing you yeah. there now that I know yeah. you're going to be and there. And guys, if there are any questions that you still have for Ulasi, please drop them in the comments box and we will make sure to get her back here to answer all your questions. This is how we wrap up today's episode of Honestly Speaking. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment share the link and yeah until next time bye, bye.